The scarcity of premium motor spirit in Nigeria has been a reoccurring situation. Motorists queuing long hours at petrol stations with no hope of getting the product. But with an alternative source of energy, like the compressed natural gas CNG, is there a viable option? CNG is regarded as the cleanest fossil fuel because it produces harmless gases, unlike premium motor spirit, coal or diesel, when applied for domestic or industrial use. When compared to other sources of energy for cars, with the outrageous pump prices and negative impact on the atmosphere, CNG is cheaper, burns cleaner and has less toll on the engine, resulting in lower maintenance costs. According to Climate Technology and Network, at least 75 countries have adopted the use of CNG for their vehicles, with about 15,000 CNG stations established around the world. We caught up with some car owners using CNG in their cars. They gave a peep into the experiences and highlighted the process of refilling. After using it for a few months, when I want to do my uh, service, I observe that the engine oil is still very clean. The exhaust is, there's no blackness in the exhaust. It's very, very clean. So, and that's an indication that it's preserving the engine. It has relieved me a lot. I have a lot of savings. We can go, right? A ride in one of these cars is no different from riding in a PMS powered car. I can't help but wonder how long have you been using the compressed natural gas for your car? I've been using it for quite a month now. When I refill a full gas, that cylinder, a full of that takes me an average of 170 kilometers. Now, one of the disadvantages is your space, my boot space. The other disadvantage, it might not really be a disadvantage, but it, it might, for some, is the cost of installation, <laughs> which is, well, at the moment, is about um, 300 plus, that's 300,000 plus. This event signals the realization of government's commitment in December 2020, the federal government launched the National Gas Expansion Program aimed at making CNG the first choice of cheaper and cleaner energy for Nigerians, as well as reducing the country's high reliance on petrol. However, it is almost three years now and CNG is still not popular amongst Nigerians. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm not aware of that matter, but there was a helix, there was one helix I saw with one cylinder of a gas, that, that is what it used, not fuel. But it's even using both the gas and the fuel. So many people are not aware of the benefit of that. But if there is going to be massive awareness, okay, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a welcome development. Sandy Ayola is a CNG expert. He shows us what goes into the process of the conversion. He also acknowledges that there are challenges bedeviling the gas sector. Natural gas requires some level of investment, okay? Bringing in, bringing in equipment that can use natural gas, as well as infrastructure. In fact, the pipeline infrastructure is one major thing that is of interest to the progress and promotion of CNG. You need pipeline to install a CNG station. If we have pipelines of gas across the country, we can take natural gas even to our kitchen as a replacement to LPG. LPG today is about uh, maybe 700 or 700, per kg, right? But natural gas is about 800 naira per kg. You can compare the difference. We really enjoin the federal government to, to hasten up infrastructure de development in the country towards this uh, um, gas uh, expansion program. As beneficial as this initiative might be, there is little or no awareness in the public space. Following the engagements between the federal government, TUC and NLC, with the intervention of the Speaker, House of Representatives, to resolve the disputes that arose from the withdrawal of subsidy on PMS, the following resolutions were reached. The federal government, the TUC and the NLC 
to revive the CNG conversion program earlier agreed with labor centers in 2021 and work out detailed implementation and timing. Nigeria is counting down to the day fuel subsidy will be withdrawn by the government. Meantime, fuel queues resurface intermittently with the attendant people running the streets to sell black market to motorists. Perhaps the federal government will take another look at the pilot program's workability so the benefits to the nation and her citizens will begin to manifest.